I can't believe this NFL analyst predicted Caleb Williams to struggle because of last year's number one overall pick. Bears fans, we have a lot to discuss. This is the Chicago Sports Talk, Michael, and I'm back at it with another video talk for the course of the Chicago Bears. Bears fans, before we begin with today's video, I once again have to remind everybody, if you are new to the channel and you stumble across this video, please hit the big red subscribe button and hit the bell notifications for more of Bears content. So, Bears fans, this, is, this was on ESPN Get Up. They were going over if Caleb, uh, does Caleb have the best rookie quarterback situation of all time and booger what's his face like uh hold on booger make flurry mcfurland had a lot of interesting things to say about quarterback caleb williams so bears fans let's watch this whole video and react to it guys there there's some validity to what both dan's are saying but don't be surprised if midway through the season, we're having a conversation very similar to what we had last year, meaning the number two pick, Jaden Daniels, looks better mm, than the number ah. one pick, Caleb Williams. Just mm. like we had last year with C.J. Stroud and Bryce Young, because there are a lot of people out of Washington telling me that this young man, Jaden Daniels, not only does he look yeah. the part, his teammates know he looked the part. And I think Caleb Williams is going to struggle, and I think Jaden Daniels is going to come out the gate flying. And we're going to have this conversation, Greeny. Mark it down. July the 16th, whatever it is, it's 100 degrees. Did the <laughs> Chicago Bears make the right pick? We're going to have this conversation again. All right. Guys, there, there's some validity all right, to all right, what all right. both Dan All right. So, Bears fans, obviously Booger has, his, uh, has a right to his opinion. But his reasoning of saying why Caleb is going to struggle – is because of last year. Because if y'all don't know, Bryce Young was the number one overall pick, which is and CJ Stroud went number two. And I just want to put this in the context. I'm not putting words in his mouth, but he insinuated he's comparing this year's Chicago Bears to last year's Carolina Panthers team. Keep in mind, people, the Bears did not get the number one overall pick last year because of them being bad they were bad they only got that pick due to carolina the team that he says that the bears are similar to the carolina panthers of last year that whole entire carolina panthers team from start to finish was a terrible situation for bryce young and i don't believe strout would have been any better in Bryce Young's position on the Carolina Panthers because you want to know why they had no wide receivers. They had the the only thing that they had was a run game. They they didn't have um, a defense, obviously, and they also had a terrible play caller, which got fired in his first year, mind you. His first the first year of Frank Wright on the Carolina Panthers got fired midway through the year and keep in mind the bears this year are are a major upgrade over what carolina has and that's just not and let's not include the quarterback let's talk about the wide receivers obviously dj moore keenan allen roman doomsday are better than uh washed up adam thielen and a and a injury prone dj clark what else uh deandre swift is better than a chuba hubbard what else? The Bears' offensive line is better than the pack uh, in the, not than the Panthers' offensive line, and head coach Matt Eberflus was it was way better than what Frank Wright was running. So, obviously, I'm not going to get Booger has his opinion, but it's not a very valid reason to say that Caleb is going to struggle um, his first year. It's a uh, because my opinions on Jaden Daniels. Succeeding in, I think Jaden Daniels will be a lot better than what people expect him to be. But that's not a necessarily reason to believe that Caleb is going to struggle because of last year's number one pick struggling and then number two pick succeeding and taking the team to the playoffs along with the playoff. And so, obviously, like I said, Booger has his right to his opinions. He told us the market's down, which we all will. 
and then we'll revisit this uh re revisit this opinion uh if if it turns out to be wrong and guess what L like i said booger is sticking with his guns and you know he's sticking with them but like i said what we content creators when we report this we obviously have an opinion to say that well maybe that's not a very good reason but anyways that, that that's my thoughts about burger giving his opinion on quarterback caleb when struggling let me know what you think in the comment section down below after hearing what booger just said let me know in the comment section down below as always thanks for watching